Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Do you need a dust cover for your keyboard? How important is that to you? How important should it be? Well, these are some of the questions that I often ask myself, but I decided a few weeks ago that it's time for me to get some dust covers because now I have more Nord keyboards than I know what to do with over here, and they're all out and available so that I can have access to them immediately. But they get dusty and it's time for some dust covers. So what I did is I bought a couple of generic dust covers off Amazon and I did a video for that part one. This is part two where we talk about a custom option and I happen to choose digital deck covers and much to my surprise, they actually have all the Nord keyboards pre-built and ready to go. In other words, all they're all predefined. I didn't have to measure my keyboards and send out a bunch of specifications to get a custom cover made. I just put in the model number, clicked add to cart, and we're off to the races. So let me just quickly show you what I mean. I ordered one for my Nord Lead A1. So I'll just put Lead A1. I'll just put Nord Lead A1. And there it is. It comes right up along with the other Nord here, the 4R Rack. But you select your fabric, and there's a few choices here. You've got nylon, cotton, black cotton, double-sided quilt and black nylon, and some color choices as well. So for this, I did the royal blue, I believe, and then you can choose to have their logo or not. You add it to the cart. They add a little shipping. They'll ship it out to you. This is a U.S.-based company. It got to my house here one to two weeks. So, and I ordered two of these, two different fabrics, which we'll look at now. So let's take a quick look at the fabric options here. You have the water-resistant nylon with PVC backing that comes in three colors. I particularly like the royal blue, and that's what I chose to put the Nordlead A1 in. Then you have the washable cotton in five colors. I chose the navy for my Boss RC505, which they also had in the index. I just put in Boss RC505, and like magic, it came up. I didn't have to measure that one either. And then they have three premium fabric choices. They have a black vinyl. They have a quilted black cotton single-sided, and then a double-sided quilted black nylon. Now, this company sells dust covers for more than just keyboards. In fact, you could use it for your audio file and vintage turntables, DJ equipment, reel-to-reel -reel recorders, speakers, all kinds of audio equipment, as well as computer-related stuff such as printers, computer keyboards, LCD monitors, your Mac, your PC, televisions, and video game systems. So I like that. Now, if you use the link to get to this website down below this video, I will get a small commission, but it's really just an exchange for me doing this video talking about this company. So let's go take a look at these materials a little closer and then show you what it looks like on the equipment and we'll wrap it up. Now, before we look at the actual custom materials, I thought we would take us back to home base here and take a look at the actual Nord dust cover, which you may have gotten with your Nord keyboard new. Now this material reminds me a lot of what you'd get if you went to a retail store or a trade show and you walked out with a bag. It's sort of a cross between like a plastic fabric combo. I really can't explain it. I'm sure there's an official name for the material. It's not quite as good as fabric or let's say a book bag, um, but it's not totally plastic or paper either. Okay, now this is the spandex material. This is the one size fits all. This is the cover I got on Amazon. It's definitely the lowest cost cover. It's something you could just shove in a bag and not have to worry about folding it or anything like that. It is one size fits all. It is washable. So there's some advantages to this. It's also, you know, like I said, the most affordable. But when it's actually on the keyboard, it doesn't look all that good in my opinion. It's sort of not really a tight fit. Then here we have the actual washable cotton. This is the navy color. And this is really good material. This does remind me of something that you would um, like a high quality bag or a backpack. Doesn't have the PVC backing on the back, but it's, it's still pretty rigid and really good quality material. Here it is on the Boss RC505 loop station. Now this one is my favorite so far. This is the water resistant nylon with PVC backing. This happens to be the royal blue. Now this material is very much like a high quality bag or a high quality backpack. And there we see the PVC backing on the, on the back, which gives it that water resistance and even more durability. So like I said, this is the favorite one of the ones that I purchased. Here it is on the Nord Lead A1. And this fit is absolutely perfect in terms of the way it's made and the way it fits. There it is. I've got the logo on the back there. 
I thought I would fold all four dust covers just to give you an idea of what it might be like to fold them and then what they might look like when you pack them or store them. Obviously, you can't pack the, the nylon or you can't fold the nylon one. And then there we have the Nord. So I think getting a dust cover is generally a good idea. It protects the equipment from dust. It protects it from people accidentally hitting it, things that might fall on it. It's just overall good protection, good idea to get a dust cover. Now, whether you go with a custom cover or something more generic and a one size fits all, that's totally up to you. I'll put all the links below this video. I thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.